What is Rhema? I want to tell you, Rhema is the creative word of God. It's the word that you say in the now that carries with it the dynamite of God. Are you hearing me? And at the same time, the creative power of God. What do you mean the dynamite? He says to pull down, to break, and to destroy, and then to build up, and to plant. Can you shout amen, somebody? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. As you study what he says, as you study the logos of God, you begin to receive rhema. You begin to receive rhema, and then you proclaim the word of God. Whether it has to do with your marriage, or it has to do with your business, or it has to do with your children, or your body, or other people that you are interceding for, as you study the logos of God, you release rhema. My, he had said. From what is written here, what we saw in the 13th chapter of the book of Hebrews, when we read from verse 5, he said, he had said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. He says, as long as that is written there, it's all logos. You can see it and be blessed, but it will not work. Logos will not work. It will not change your situation. It will make you happy, but it will not produce a result. So he had said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Hey, go with a God. Woo! Hallelujah. Listen, 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 listen. So that we may boldly say what? In that place, he said, the Lord is my helper. I shall not fear what man shall do unto me. I shall not fear. The Lord is my helper. I shall not fear. The Lord is my helper. Woo, glory to God. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Mama, mama, mama. He had said, so that we may boldly say. He had said, so that we may boldly say. So I boldly proclaim. Are you still there? <laughs> you know, if I don't stop. We'll just go until evening time, so I better round off now. <laughs> <laughs>